Hello friends, today we'll create a chocolate with using the real flow particles that are these ones and uh, just two demons one is the kill volume demon and the other one is gravity so I have this setup over here in which uh, I've brought this chocolate bar and this plane from Maya using the dot sd format and i have a kill volume placed over here an emitter and as you can see the emitter is animated along the time like this so to animate an animator what we can do is just select the animator emitter go to nodes select the position attribute right click position add key and once you added a key for one cycle that is like for this much of area and double click on it select this curve right click last node behavior sorry last node behavior and loop it so it will keep on move uh, along the time So this is what we have till now and let's select the emitter so in emitter we have the following settings that we have to change so according to your requirement you can increase the resolution but increasing the resolution will increase your simulation time so I have increased my resolution to just two, two times that is two and uh, I have increase the external pressure to 10 and that's just the values that you have to change in the default emitter make sure the emitter's thickness is not too wide so that the chocolate is realistic then after that we'll select the cube and we'll change few values over here also in the particle fluid interaction tab so we'll make the particle friction to 0.1 bounce to 0.25 stickiness to 1000 now the stickiness is defined just according to how much you keep your viscosity so the third attribute that we have to change over in the emitter is the viscosity we'll pump it up to 1000 then in the queue um, we don't majorly need to change the roughness but you can increase it a bit if you want to that's all that we have to change over here yeah so now let's simulate sorry I was on frame 25 so I'll press control A again now I'll simulate it now I'll pause the video till we simulate the mesh we'll meet after the mesh has been simulated so the simulation is over now and you can see we have a pretty good high viscosity chocolate mesh sorry the particles now the next step is to create a mesh so for creating a mesh we go to this panel we right click we choose add we go to mesh and we click on particle mesh standard so I have already done that and th this is the particle mesh uh, right now I have turned it off so I'll turn it on so the, the values that we have to change for getting a very good detailed mesh of the chocolate are first we'll enable the filters then we'll decrease and tone down the value of relaxation to 0 0.01 and then let's start the process so we'll select the mesh right click on it press build so as you can see it is meshing 
Now after meshing we can see that there is a mesh. So this is already in very high detail and that's because I have already toned this value down. So this is polygon size. So the, the, this detail depends on two values. First is relaxation value. So first we have to tone this down and the second one is polygon size. So in polygon size we have to tone this number down. The number fourth from the end. So it is generally at 5 and I have made it to 2 to get this final output. Uh, that's it. These are the only two options that we have to tone down. Now let's start meshing. By selecting this mesh, I'll click on this option here. This says build meshes. So let's start. So this is going to take a while, so I'll pause the video till then. So now we can see that the mesh is completed. And the scene has become heavy and slow obviously because there are these many number of particles in the mesh. So this is how the mesh looks like. It's pretty much good and I'm happy with this output. So now let's brush up what we have done to achieve this thing. First in the emitter we changed few values. The number one was resolution. Resolution can be changed according to your needs. It's not a necessary thing. Then external pressure it was increased to 10. Viscosity that was 1000. Then in the square node we also changed the speed so that particles come down faster than they usually will do because the simulation will become heavy and the particles will come very slow that would create a problem in the mesh and other than these settings uh, we also change the simulation options so for that we go to simulation button over here and then options in, in this simulation options we increase the minimum subsets to 1000 that is the value of our viscosity 1000 and max subsets to somewhat greater greater value than minimum subsets so we have created 2000 over here then after this this thing all we have to do is then we go to the chocolate bar so over here we have increased the value of stickiness that is 1000 and uh, maybe a bit of particle friction tolerance is kept 0 bounciness to 0.25 that's it then we go to mesh we start creating mesh and in the mesh after creating one or two frames to, to check how the look and feel of the mesh is coming out we decrease the value of polygon size before that we uh, enable the filters and tone down the value of relaxation to 0 0.01 and that's pretty much it these are the few values that we have to change to achieve this and uh, in the next video we'll learn how to get a final chocolate looking output of this mesh using Maya and V-Ray